Okay, we're doing the SD40 motors. Now I've got one here that I've tuned up. And I've got one here that's untouched. First, I want you to listen to the motor. These motors have very little runtime on them. They're, I'm, they are almost pristine. However, let's just check them with the old bench top. Okay, on the top you see 15 and a half volts have got dialed in. The middle one is the amp draw. Okay, so I'm going to clip on. Clip on here, come on. Get a good clip. Okay, as you can see, we're drawing 0 0.06. That's good. Okay, that's maxed out. This is going to be a DCC locomotive. Maxed out. 0 0.06. Very good. Now let's check the stall. Did you see that 1.6? 1.7? Okay, we're going over the magic 1.5 amp number with this. Fairly quiet. I mean, it's totally maxed out, but it's fairly quiet. Good flywheel action. All right, now I've got one here that I went through, clean it all up. Now we're going to listen to the one I cleaned up. Okay, it's louder. And its amp draw at max is actually a little bit higher than the than the one I didn't touch. Let's give it a test here. See that? Watch that amp number. At most, there's been a 1.4 just for a second. But generally, we're stalling out under 1.3. So, so we made a huge improvement. We got it into the safety zone for a decoder. So why does it sound this way? I'll tell you why. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one. And when I turn it, you don't hear nothing, right? Other than me shaking it back and forth. Basically doesn't make any sound. When I tuned up, hear the clicking sound. Hear that clicking sound? Compare it to the first one, the untouched one. So why is it like that? And what does it mean? Well, when we take these, we take these spring clips off, we pull up the brushes and the springs, and I always clean the tip, I always clean the tip of the brushes, and it kind of flattens them out a little bit. So they're not broke and worn in. So just from going around, as they cross poles, there'll be a little clicking noise for a while. And then it'll start to wear in a little bit and it'll just get quieter. That's normal. And that's how you know that's how you know that you've done one, if you get a pile of them, and how you know that you haven't touched it. If it makes no sound at all, it means you haven't touched it. And why is that important? Well, you saw on the stall current that the one that is broken in stalls and draws more amps at stall because it has more surface area in contact with the poles. Okay, it's got more with, on the commutator. It, it, there's more surface area to contact. This one doesn't have as much surface area. And so it doesn't draw as much amps in the stall. 
And that's not going to last forever. But it should last till the next maintenance cycle. And you'll be good. Now that was at maximum. Let's listen to this thing. Let's hook this guy up again. And let's turn him down to a, to a more typical operating voltage. Let's turn him down. Let's drop him down. Okay, now that sound right there. Two volts, this is creeping. Yeah, so it doesn't have a ton of torque. So I'm guessing your kind of creeping speed is going to be more around four or five volts. With no load, it should sound like that. Look now, stalled out, 0.3. See, I'm stalling it with my finger. Now it's it's in the better safety range. But when they get way too quiet, it means that your brushes are starting to wear. They're starting to wear a big notch in them. And I'm going to take one off so you can see it. So this one has the wear pattern on it. Now, if you can see, you see how it's curved like that? That's that, and it isn't worn all the way down because you can see the middle is not, not worn, worn much. So there's very little time on it, but it had just enough time to make a nice little trough in there. And that, that gives you more surface area contact. So when I clean these, what I do is I just take a wire wheel, and I will just rub it across twice. Just like that. Just like that. Okay? Now I got a fresh surface area to work with. So it'll have a little bit of... It'll have a little bit of that clicking for a little while. And that's okay. It means it's going to be safer. Uh, unlike other motors, when, when we put, I also put a little bit of air tool oil into the bronze bearings using the chisel blade, dropped it in between the flywheel and the housing. Just a tiny dip on the end of this on both ends, and that lubricates that. And air tool oil protects moving parts. And a lot, like on brand new motors, especially those 24 volt ones, you've seen what happens when I put the little bit of oil in there. That had where it had never had any oil. These motors, these motors have probably had something. Although I, when I looked at it closely, they were dry. But this is not not a bad motor. This is totally usable. And as you've seen, once we made our little modification, we got it into the safety zone, and that's what counts.